Hey everyone, it's Brian. In this video, I wanted to review this book, the Everything Everyday Math Book, from Tipping to Taxes, All the Real World Everyday Math Skills You Need by Christopher Monahan. My dad actually gave me this book one year, and I thought it was pretty neat. You know, it's, it's much different than most every other math book I have, uh, where it's really a math book for anybody uh, to learn a whole bunch of math applications. Why do you even learn math in the first place? This book has a whole bunch of applications and nice things you can actually do with math to impact your everyday life. If you look at the contents right here, chapter one talks a little bit about um, what is math. Uh, maybe you have some math phobia, it kind of addresses that. A lot of people have math phobia, they're a little scared of math, that's okay. Uh, and it talks about learning to love math. I hope this book helps some of you do that. Chapter two talks about numbers and basic arithmetic. So this is sort of sort of maybe a review. Maybe you're a little bit behind on uh, how numbers work and how they work together with different operations. Um, chapter three talks about decimals and uh, the things you use decimals for, things like scientific notation, if, you ever, if you've ever heard of that. Uh, the metric system, you know, I'm in America, we use not the metric system, but um, many other countries, probably most other countries, use the metric system. So that might be important if you're looking at some foreign or international data. Um, chapter four, we start getting to a little bit more uh, stuff that gives people trouble like fractions. A lot of the students I tutor, they have a lot of trouble with fractions and that's just because maybe, maybe fractions don't come as, as naturally as whole numbers. And so this, this chapter four is dedicated to just uh, working with fractions and things that they can do. Chapter five, totally associated to fractions are percentages. And percentages are what you're really gonna be seeing every day in real life, you know, whether that's uh, getting discounts at stores or maybe you're uh, giving tips based on a percentage at a restaurant. Chapter six, like I said, with discounts, talks about shopping, like how much did you save, sales tax, these things that math are actually used for in the, well, the shopping market. Chapter seven, now we're really getting into some application of math. One of the most important applications for many people is interest, interest on money. So that we're talking about like loans and retirements and those sort of things. So what is simple and compound interest? If you don't know the difference, that's really, really important when it comes to money and saving money and making more money. So this book can let, let you down that path. Um, and you can see there's, there's just a whole bunch of stuff here. I'm just gonna quickly go through math in the kitchen. So measurements, uh, budgets, home budgeting, taking a trip, We're talking about like vacation, travel costs, flying versus driving. Chapter 11 and 12 are about buying a car and buying a house. So we're talking about the math of loans, these sort of things. Is it better to keep paying down the loan depending on certain factors? Uh, chapter 13, saving for retirement. That's such a big issue. So many people have issues with retirement and saving for retirement. And there's so much confusion. How much should I be saving? How much will I need when I retire? Which plan should I use? Maybe chapter 13 can give you a little bit of guidance there. Um, chapter 14, a little bit about taxes. Not everyone's favorite subject, certainly not mine. Chapter 15, I think chapter 15 is one of the most important subjects for everyone to learn probability and statistics. You know, in everyday life, just humans have a big trouble with understanding probability a lot of the time, you know? Like, uh, is it a good idea to play the lottery? Is there a good chance of me winning the lottery? What's the probability that I'll make money on something like gambling? It's usually not good, <laughs> I'll admit, but chapter 15, that would be a really great place to start with a lot of people who don't know a lot about probability. Chapter 16 talks about math in the home, so things like volume and area equations, um, maybe you wanna paint a wall or build a new room, that sort of thing. Chapter 17 and 18 here, we see math on the job, maybe some, uh, some professionals that are using math, like physical therapy or psychologists. And then chapter 18 is about playing games. There's some, some pretty fun math games out there. And chapter 18 will show you, uh, you can see that this book has a ton of material. You probably wouldn't want to read it 
all the way through, maybe treat it more like a reference book. It's kind of nice just to like put on the shelf, you know, when you think, oh, how do I do those percentages or how do I do those probability things? You can pull it off the shelf and look it up. You can see this book is full of tons of examples. Pretty much this book teaches through examples and exercises. And there's just tons of little gems of information here. You could really spend a lot of time learning stuff. I'm sure I could learn a ton from this book if I took if I really took a lot of time and sat down with it. Here you see, will you win the lottery? And based on this exact calculation, it looks like one out of 175 million chances <laughs> of you winning the lottery. So maybe this book will help you see the lottery is not such a great idea for most people. Lots of pictures and graphs. And I thought there was one really cool problem not not everybody knows about. Here's like calculating the area of your lawn. Maybe you want to put a pool in or something like that. This I thought was super cool. You know, if you want to measure the height of a tree, uh, I don't know, maybe you need to call someone in to go cut a tree down and they want to know how high it is. They'll only cut trees down that are so high. You can actually measure how tall a tree is just based on your shadow and similar triangles. This is the idea if uh, you measure the distance of your shadow and how far you are from the tree and you know your height, you can use a similar triangle idea, basically ratios, and uh, figure out how tall the tree is just with math and triangles. It's really cool stuff, you know, that not a lot of people know. So anyway, uh, this is a cool book. It's a paperback. It's really, I think, very cheap, actually. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out. But this is just, just a cool find, something from my, something a little bit different in my math library. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at it, and have a great day.